So this past weekend, I worked a tattoo convention. In fact, I've worked multiple tattoo conventions across my career, and I'm always asking the same question, was it worth it? When I started my tattoo career, conventions were the shit. They marked for me as a standard to get to. If I was accepted onto a convention, I knew I was doing something right. The two UK ones for me that let me know that was Tattoo Jam and Liverpool Tattoo Convention. So firstly, let's talk about the overall scene. Tattoo conventions are now running rampant throughout the tattoo industry. I can probably bet just in the UK that at least 10 pop up every single year, each promising to be the best convention there's ever been put on. But that is kind of like me promising my missus that I'm gonna put in a banger performance, but I fall short by about five minutes. <sighs> Sorry, love. Anyways, they charge you an extortionate amount of money for a two by two booth that even a borrower would struggle to work in. They all use the same stage acts or at least similar. Those acts work over the two days doing the same performance, playing the same music. The overall vibe is just generally the same. And all conventions are is generally just a gathering of all the people that you like that you've not seen for a while and the motivation to outperform everybody that you don't like. That way you get the award and they don't. Or you both don't and somebody dog shit wins. So having said all that, are they worth it? Let me explain. Pending on the convention that you work, you will be amongst some of the best artists in your field. Now I'm realism, so let's be honest, that's just about everyone. But because of that, at a convention, your ability to level up is drastically increased. You will put in so much effort just to keep up with the caliber that some of these artists are at. But not only that, you also have thousands of people all coming by your booth to watch you work. Looking shit is generally not an option. And then there's the awards if you're gonna go for one of them. They will definitely not be any five minutes falling short. You will be putting in a performance that my missus will be proud of. Then you have the potential for more clientele, which means more money in your pocket. I will say that this is a low chance, but the amount of business cards, stickers, and everything with your branding on that gets picked up is astronomical. You can sell prints, you can sell t-shirts, you can sell any merch that you may have just to recoup some of that booth price raping that happened. I will honestly say that at a convention, you may break even or even lose money after you've paid for the booth, paid for your hotel, paid for your food, yada yada, and so on. Now, although I did say that between conventions, the vibe is generally the same, there's just something about working in the vibe of a convention. You are surrounded by everything tattoo, and there is just something special about that. Working day to day in your studio, it just becomes the norm and you confine yourself into your own little bubble where you just forget about the industry. Conventions bring you out of that and I dare say they leave you pretty inspired. So for sure, they are worth it. So there's got to be some bad, right? Well, there is, and that generally comes down to the organizers of the conventions themselves. And I can pretty much guarantee that if you work a convention, you will at some point come across what I'm about to mention. There's just some that you just don't vibe with. Some organizers will treat you like a filler artist just to sell a booth and bring up the numbers of artists that they have working at their convention. Some conventions you may be shipped off to the side, away from the main footfall, but you will still be charged the same booth pricing. You will look around a convention and see all the Instagram artists with 300k following all in a row in the main area where the main footfall is and you may be shipped off into the corner of the room away from everything. But again, your booth price will still be the same. Inevitably, when you are working conventions, it will feel like sometimes that you just do not get the respect that these other artists do. And that could just be something as little as not getting a shout out from the organizers that you are working that convention. That has happened to me before. And they will turn around and tell you, well, there just wasn't enough time to announce you. Bullshit. If you have a great organizer though, you will have a great convention and you will leave that convention after a hard two or three days feeling a lot more valued. Organizers of conventions determine everything. 
So having said all that, how, in my opinion, can conventions be better? So here's my suggestions. Number one, a two by two booth is just not big enough. When you have your setup and your bed, plus a convention table, it's just too cramped. Moving up to a three by three, just to give that little extra room, would be vastly superior. Now, I don't know what limits a three by three booth. Maybe it's insurances, maybe it's the venue. I'm not too sure, but it would be nice to have. Now on to number two, and that is that all artists should be in the same room with absolutely nobody's booth being off to the side or in the corner. An ideal setup for me would be everybody's booth in the middle, in rows, and nobody away from the main footfall. Now, if a convention requires multiple rooms, then that should be reflected in the booth price. If you are in the main room with the main footfall of traffic, then your booth should be 499. But if you are off to the side or you are on an upper level, then that should be reflected. So instead of 499, it should be 399 or even 299, depending on where you are situated. Number three, whether you are an artist with 300,000 followers on Instagram or an artist with 300 followers on Instagram, you, the artist, should not be treated any different for having a lower following count. Far too often at conventions, you will see the main clump of the artist that make up millions and millions of followers all together boofed up back to back. And you would be hard pressed to see a artist with 300 followers in the mix of those top big names. There should be absolutely no preferential treatment to any artist. Number four, all organizers should give artists that have worked their convention before priority booking. Far too many conventions will use artists to build names, but when those artists want to work that show again, they can't get a booth. That shit needs to stop happening. Any single artist that has worked your show before should get an invite back to your show before you open applications. Regardless of street cred, if they was good enough to work your convention before, they're good enough to work it again. Number five, every artist should get a free helper pass and a free client pass. My client should not have to pay for a ticket to get tattooed at your convention. Number six, and we're gonna talk about awards. If an artist goes up for an award, only the tattoo that has been done at the convention should be allowed to enter. If the tattoo is part of a bigger project, then that bigger project should be disregarded and only the piece that has been done at the convention in that bigger project should be judged. All large scale pieces with healed work should be put into their own category and should definitely be kept separate from large black and gray or large color, for example. And now on to number seven, and if you're still here, don't worry, we're nearly done. The judges themselves should be separated by little booths, like a booth there, separation, another judge, separation, another judge, separation, another judge. And all judges should have a mix of styles. One black and grey realism, one colour realism, one neo trad, one traditional, something like that. And all judges should have zero contact with each other while judging is being done. Then the tattoo should be judged individually with a score system, taking into account composition, technical application, placement, yada yada and so on. If at the end of that there's a draw on the cards, only then will all judges come together and pick the final piece. That way, in my opinion, no judges then are swayed by anyone else, and it kind of cuts down on the, that's an Iron Man piece, I like Iron Man, that guy's won. Now I will say that organizing a convention is probably really, really hard work, and no matter what an organizer does, there's always gonna be some artists that aren't happy. But I think just implementing a few of these will go towards making a better convention for everyone. Before we end this video, I just want to give a special mention to Josh and Nathan who came to the convention and stopped by my booth just to chat to me. I am truly, truly like, guys, you are legends and I love you. It has just been an honor that you would do that and it has not gone unnoticed. I'm super sorry that I wasn't able to talk for long, 
um, and my mind was preoccupied with the piece, but I just wanted you to know that it hasn't gone unnoticed and I appreciate you guys. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, do not forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video out, do what you need, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Ta-ta, much as love.